what's happening? Welcome back to Ragdale Planting. I just wanted to give you all a really good picture of how a wandering Jew, purple fuzzy looks when it gets the perfect sun, the perfect amount of light. This is what a purple fuzzy looks like. Okay, so here I'm showing you the difference. This is my purple fuzzy that doesn't receive as much sun as the purple fuzzy that the video is about. The stems stretch out further, the leaves are greener, and they don't mount on top of each other as much as the other purple fuzzy does that receives a good amount of sun. And this is what a very happy Hawaiian dwarf looks like. Do you see that? It's beautiful. And these plants is sitting in the sun for at least six to eight hours. And they and this pot does not get too much water but lots of sun. But all these plants in here, the pothos, the fuzzy purple, the Hawaiian dwarf, they're all drought tolerant type plants. They, they can stand a little neglect and end up being completely beautiful in the end. Now look at this pothos. It's a nice long stem here. And it's not even really leggy to not have received too, too much water. At this time, I'm going to wrap these plants around this stick because I don't want them to break as they continue to grow. how it looked when I twined it. I was very careful not to break any. When I first arrived, I did pull off a lot of dead leaves. 
but not too many as you see because she's still bushy. And look at that. That is what a purple fuzzy wandering Jew looks like, baby. And the wandering Jew is holding up as well. The wandering Jew is a drought plant as well. They like a lot of water, but they also can stand a drought. Ooh, she is getting a lot of sun. Look at that purple. If I took this plant home, it would not look like this. It would turn all green. Look at this in the middle. And the pothos, the leaves are just beautiful. Look at that. And it all mixed up together. So pretty. Look at this wandering Jew here. It's not leggy at all. very healthy very happy I decided to just let it hang just let it hang on the side look at that view it's a beautiful arrangement I took a lot of clippings all of these were clippings when I first put them into this pot This is how it looks at the top when I put the other, tie it up to the string. Hawaiian dwarf, tropical plant. She's got two babies on the side. Glass jar has done well as swell as well. They're mostly succulent plants. You got the succulent little uh, sedum bush there. I think it's a sedum. You got the black. Um, I, I you know I just forget the name. It's doing really good in this here situation. And I'm going to clip the purple fuzzies down because they're coming out the top. Huh? And I'm going to clip them down to they're down to the bottom. give the plants room to breathe. Let's get rid of these dead leaves here. I just want to fix up the pot a little bit because it's doing really good. We'll give her some water. Everything else in there looks okay. That's cute. 
cute. some water. These are the pieces once they were removed. cuttings. This is how you pack them up so you can try to take them with you. I use a paper towel or um, newspaper. Wet it slightly. With a little knot and they're ready to go. So I'll probably propagate them over and out. This type of plant is so easy to propagate. I don't even need roots. I'm going to put this plant directly into the soil and allow it to propagate that way. Read it down. 